Hey YouTubers, hey this is the Honda Rebel guy and um, still love my Honda Rebel 1100, it's great. Um, in today's video I'm gonna, I just bought a new helmet, um, it's an HGC, HJC um, i30 in matte black. So it's a three quarter helmet with a, uh, a, wind, a clear windshield and a, a drop down uh, sun visor. So I'm gonna I'm gonna unbox it and show you that, and then I'm gonna compare it to my last helmets and give you a few comments. All right, so inside the box, let's see what we get. Inside the box, the helmet is in a bag. With some nice foam inside. Here's a nice bag. It seems like it's high quality. It has a logo on it. Um, nicely made. The quality is pretty good. And if we open the bag up. We have the helmet. All right, here's some um... Here's my old helmet in white. It's it's a HJC IS33, I believe. It's about 10 years old. The reason why I wanted to get a replacement was the foam was starting to get compact and I can't really get it clean anymore and it's getting scuffed up. And I wanted more um, uh, air vents so the more, there was more you know, wind throughput so that I, you know, in Florida, it's it's good to keep your head cool and having more wind through it is good. But the requirements are for me, I wanted a three quarter, you know, with a glass um, front windshield or whatever. I wanted to be able to like pop down a sun visor um, and basically the same helmet that I had. So I was, I've been very happy with the HJC IS33 for the last nine or ten years it's been a great helmet I'm surprised it lasts so long so I decided to get the latest version of that um, and it's just the the shape of it looks a little bit better the venting the the, the air vents are much better the um, the face shield actually is longer and comes down a little bit more which is nice and it has a few has a, a latch on each, each side to kind of hold that face shield in place a little bit better now the difference between these two are, you can see on the old helmet, of the, the, the sliding switch on here would bring down the sun visor and you can release it with this button. On the new helmet, the slide is actually down here so it's a little bit easier to get to and it's a little smoother. When you're putting down the uh, sun, sun visor or the sun shade or whatever inside the helmet on the old one, and uh, you release it, it just pops up and it's it's pretty loud when you're riding it. But um, both are comparable. Um, it's what I like, it's I'm comfortable with it. Um, it's a good functioning helmet and it's very reasonable. I bought it at Revzilla for I think $134, I think, with uh, no taxes and free shipping. So they had pretty much the going lowest price and uh, they got it really quick in about three days. Um, it's really nice. On the new helmet also, the um, the sun uh, visor, sunscreen, whatever, actually comes down lower, so it's more towards your nose, so there's a little more sun protection. It's really important in Florida. Um, the pads in my old one, like I said, I had it for about nine or ten years. They lasted a long time, and um, they did get kind of squished a little bit, um, but the new, new pads seem to be uh, better quality and fit better. Um, when I took the pads out on the old helmet and put them back in, after a while the little s plastic snap locks um, were starting to wear out and would come off every once in a while. But there's a different system on this helmet. Don't know if you can see it, but there's uh, it's actually a little bit more conforming to the shell of the helmet and it seems to be sturdier. So that looks pretty good. Um, the back, let me show you the side view of the helmet. The back of the helmet has a large vent right here for an exhaust. So there's a, 
there's a large intake on the front. Get that back here. Very large compared to my last helmet. There are two little small holes and you could turn, you can open and close those holes on the old helmet. You can't do that on the new helmet, but I never closed them on the old helmet because I needed them all the time. The, the new helmet has very large holes. There's supposed to be a lot more air coming through that. And because there's such a large exhaust on the back, um, that it's, you know, gonna go through a lot better. Anyway, it's about the same um, shape and size. And like I said, I really like the helmet and it's very comfortable and very functional. And the price is very good as well. And I think it's very well made. So anyways, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of idea of what this was. And the i30 HJC helmet, three quarter, and it's really good. Thanks.